Hello guys, it is good to be home after a long day at work. Not a busy day, just a super long day. And this evening, Chris and I need to start packing for a weekend trip. We're going to Iowa to get my cousin and move her back to Ohio. But first, I need to find Kristen because she is MIA. I don't know where she's at, but she's not here. Come join us, won't you? The weird thing about this is her car is here. So that means she left with someone. Hmm. So either her dad came and got her and they went somewhere or her co-worker came and got her and they went somewhere. Uh, typically she lets me know where she's going. I just don't know where she is. I'm sure she'll call eventually. Uh, but until then, I'm going to go uh, start getting ready to pack. Kind of get some clothes ready. See what's going on upstairs. Well, upstairs, it looks like she already started the process. Uh, she has stuff set out on the dresser. Some of that probably needs to put away. Some of that's probably for the weekend. She has a suitcase out getting ready. So, she was thinking in advance, getting ready to, you know, pack like we we're supposed to do this evening before she vanished into thin air. Maybe the aliens got her. That would suck. The more I think about it, if aliens did abduct her and took her away, made her vanish from the earth, that might be a good thing. Not because she's gone. No, that'd be horrible. I'd miss her horribly. But when they returned her, we could share the story with the world and make millions and millions and billions of dollars. Yeah, that'd be great. Something tells me that's not what happened, but it'd be great. Well guys, I was right and wrong. Uh, aliens didn't kidnap her, which more I think about it, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, even though the story would be really great to tell and we'd make lots and lots of money off of it, uh, I'd hate to like know what the aliens did to her when they kidnapped her. Uh, that would probably be all bad. What really happened was uh, what I said before, uh, her friends picked her up, or her friend picked her up from work, and they went up to Niles to do some shopping. So uh, what we decided was I'd drive up to Niles and meet them there and grab some dinner. That way, that's all taken care of. When we come back home, we can pack for uh, our trip this weekend. Well, I made it to Texas Roadhouse. Although I remember it being bigger than that. It seemed awfully small. Honey, what? you tired? Mm -hmm. It's a long trip from the alien planet. Tire you out? Yes. <laughs> I was getting worried. I thought you may have got abducted by aliens and I was gonna be horrible but then I thought about it and it was it was good there for like this amount of time because we would become rich but then then <laughs> surprise Whoa all right <laughs> then I realized it was bad again and Why was it bad again? Because you'd be gone and they would have like sexually abused you or something. Who knows? Some oh, darn <laughs> aliens Whoa <laughs> took a weird turn. Yeah it did but then he invited me to dinner and I it was all better. Dinner. And now here you are. Yay. Oh, Time to pack. 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 Start packing. <laughs> hey, it would be better <laughs> off with the aliens. Jeez. Okay, honey. Yeah. I, I think I'm all packed. Uh, this should be much easier than the last place we went. Cedar Point. Why uh, is that? Because it's just two outfits and that's it. Like, I don't have to worry about going back to the hotel and changing, and then which coming back to the park, anywhere. which we never did, and taking clothes in case it rained, or any of that stuff. It's two outfits, that's it. Right. Now, the real question is, where's all your clothes going? What do you mean? Uh, th this is kind of full. Where's your stuff going? Huh. Right there? How do I have more stuff than you? I have no idea. I suck. <laughs> <sighs> well, I think that's it. That's it? I think everything's packed except for like phone chargers and stuff like that, which we can't pack this early because we need them all week. Right. Uh, the one thing that's not packed is Miss Noelle. Noelle, are you sad you're not packed? Noelle's not happy. In the She's not talking to me. She's not even looking at me at this point. She's like, I'm so mad at you. I'm not even looking at you. But your grandpa and grandma will be here to uh, watch you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at the tail go now. Yep. 
Yep, you love grandma and grandpa, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Bum. You but bum? I'll miss the bum. So you're gonna miss the bum? I'm gonna miss the bum. I'm gonna miss the bum. Aww. We're gonna miss you, Pooh. We should go play with you in, like extra, extra, extra a lot the rest of the week. She said okay, I'm game. Okay, let's go. Pooh, you wanna play? Yay, go get it. Good Bring girl. it back. Bring it back. We gotta get all this playing done because the bugs are bad oh God, and we're not gonna be out here very long. <laughs> I know we said we we're gonna play with you for a while, but uh, we may have lied. The mosquitoes are so bad. That and we don't have the best frisbee. This isn't the, uh, Where'd the other one go? good frisbee. She doesn't wanna play with it. No? No, she wants to play with this tonight. One more throw. That's it? Oh, one more to film. I'm not gonna sit here and film us throw this 50 times. Um, or would you like us to film this, film us throwing this 50 times? Oh my gosh, you mosquito! I don't think they would. Oh, I just think I ate a mosquito. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna go. Well, babe. Yeah. Once again, not a ton of footage. Nope. But just because we're doing things to get ready for the trip this weekend. That and you got abducted for a little bit. I did. But not by aliens. Don't worry everyone, it's okay. It was just my friend of yours. I don't think they're worried. They may have been. <laughs> I doubt I it. was worried. Oh, well at least you were worried. Especially with all this Area 51 talk going on and people storming Area 51 and everything. Or is that, is that old news already? I think it is. I think that all died already. Yeah. Boy, I might be behind on the times. I, yeah, me too. W would you go storm Area 51? No. Why not? You don't want to know about aliens? I could care or, less, one way or the other. Okay, well, super enthused over here, aren't we? <laughs> Just bringing the whole level of the vlog down to a roaring <laughs> crawl. Just... I was, wasn't I? Sorry, I was guys. pretty like, nah. We're just gonna talk monotone, <laughs> and we're just gonna, you know, call it a day. Quit! Quit making fun of me! <laughs> you were talking! I'm like, yay, have fun! And you're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm, Aliens don't exist. <laughs> no. I didn't say they didn't exist. Okay. <laughs> do you think they exist? I think they have to exist. Why do you think they have because to exist? Because in all the universes of in the galaxy, you know, all the galaxies and all the worlds and all the planets and all the everything in the universe. Yeah, I said that right this time. <laughs> life has to exist somewhere else other than just here. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree not? with that. Like, will we ever Something find has to them? Be there. Probably not. But hey, you know. All the, look, what about the galaxy far, far away a long, long time ago? Like, they exist, right? So. They must. So everything must exist. Okay. We're losing it. Apparently. Uh, we gotta get a shower and get up and do it all again tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll talk to you then. Good night, guys. Bye.